keeper. Two beers for two weary travelers. Uh, it's still a bit early. We won't be open for another hour. By then, we'll be serving breakfast. <gasps> whoa, 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 whoa. What the hell you think you're doing, boy? Get that nigger out of here. Innkeeper! Remember, get the sheriff, not the marshal. Alas. Now we must act as our own bartender. Sit down, my boy. What kind of dentist are you? <laughs> Despite that cart, I haven't practiced dentistry in five years. These days, I practice a new profession. Bounty hunter. Do you know what a bounty hunter is? No. Well, the way the slave trade deals in human lives for cash, a bounty hunter deals in corpses. State places a bounty on a man's head. I track that man, I find that man, I kill that man. After I've killed him, I transport that man's corpse back to the authorities. Sometimes that's easier said than done. I show that corpse to the authorities, proving yes, indeed, I truly have killed him, at which point the authorities pay me the bounty. So, like slavery, it's a flesh for cash business. What's a bounty? It's like a reward. You kill people, and they give you a reward? Certain people, yeah. Bad people? Ah, badder they are, bigger the reward. Which brings me to you. And I must admit, I'm at a bit of a quandary when it comes to you. On one hand, I despise slavery. On the other hand, I need your help. If you're not in a position to refuse, all the better. So for the time being, I'm going to make this slavery malarkey work to my benefit. Still, having said that, I feel guilty. So, I would like the two of us to enter into an agreement. I'm looking for the Brittle Brothers. However, at this endeavor, I'm, I'm at a slight disadvantage. And so far as I don't know what they look like. But you do, don't you? I know what they look like, all right. Good. So here's my agreement. You travel with me until we find them. Where are we going? I hear at least two of them are overseeing up in Gatlinburg, but I don't know where. That means we visit every plantation in Gatlinburg till we find them. And when we find them, you point them out, and I kill them. You do that, I agree to give you your freedom, $25 per brittle brother, $75. And as if on cue, here comes the sheriff. Okay, boys, fun's over. Come on out. All right, folks, calm down. Go about your business. You jokers will be gone soon. Now, why y'all want to come into my town and start trouble? And scare all these nice people? You ain't got nothing better to do than to come into Bill Sharp's town and show your ass. Is she 
just do their share. Inside. Can we just leave? After you. Move that buck forward long ways across the street from the saloon. I want six men, six rifles behind me. I want two men, two rifles up on this roof, two men, two rifles on that roof. All the barrels aimed at that front door. Somebody get poor Bill out of the goddamn street. You in the saloon. We got a hundred rifles aimed at every way out of that building. You got one chance to get out of this alive. You and your nigger come out right now with your hands over your head, and I mean right now. Is this the marshal I have the pleasure of addressing? Yes, it is. This is U.S. Marshal Gil Tatum. Nothing to bomb, Marshal. I have relieved myself of all weapons. And just as you have instructed, I am ready to step outside with my hands raised above my head. I trust, as a representative of the criminal justice system of the United States of America, I shan't be shot down in the street by either you or your deputies before I've had my day in court. You mean like you did our sheriff? Shot him down like a dog in the street. Yes, that's exactly what I mean. Do I have your word as a lawman not to shoot me down like a dog in the street? Well, much as we'd all enjoy seeing something like that, ain't nobody gonna cheat the hangman in my town. Fair enough, Marshal. Here we come. They're a little tense out there, so don't make any quick movements and let me do the talking. Come in. You unarmed? Yes, indeed, we are. Marshal Tatum, may I address you and your deputies and apparently the entire town of Daughtry as to the incident that just occurred? Go on. My name is Dr. King Schultz. Like yourself, Marshal, I'm a servant of the court. The man lying dead in the dirt, who the good people of Daughtry saw fit to elect as their sheriff, who went by the name of Bill Sharp, is actually a wanted outlaw by the name of Willard Peck, with a price on his head of $200. Now, that's $200 dead or alive. The hell you say? I'm aware this is probably disconcerting news. But I'm willing to wager this man was elected sheriff sometime in the past two years. Yeah. I know this because three years ago, he was rustling cattle from the B.C. Corrigan Cattle Company of Lubbock, Texas. Now, this is a warrant made out by Circuit Court Judge Henry Allen Laudermilk of Austin, Texas. You're encouraged to wire him. He'll back up who I am and who your dear departed sheriff was. In other words, Marshal, you owe me $200. Mm -hmm. 